Well, how do everybody? Hi. It's me, the map. Remember me? <laughs> Look at that sassy wing shake. <laughs> so sassy. <laughs> uh, Looks what? like a cute flying baby. <laughs> this is a big damn level. Yeah. Good well, grief. if you're going this slow, then of course. <laughs> No, Spyro, turn! No, turn! I'm, I, I'm in no control, by the way. <laughs> well. And then, then I kind of turned Spyro into a Beyblade. Did you poop a turnip? Yes. <laughs> That's not healthy. <laughs> huh? What? Why? Why did a vegetable fall down? I'm so confused. I swear it's not infinite. It just takes yeah, just 30 seconds of Spyro spinning around like crazy. Because it's, it's not just very long. Cool glitch. <laughs> there we go. Part of me was kind of hoping we'd have 21 minutes of Spyro spinning. Uh, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> it eventually, eventually it just stopped. I, well, okay. I was in no control, so I didn't actually stop it myself. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, Mystic March, the, the level I said was odd, and it really, really is. It's Those guys odd. have sausages for ears. Do they? Oh. Kinda looks like it. Nope. They're giant elephants. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I did not see that coming, not gonna lie. Look at all this stuff. Silly monkeys. Yeah. In the end of the level. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you can't hit what? me while I'm oh. in the text. Uncool, sure. man. Oh, he's not a monkey. He's a like a ring-tailed lemur, I think. That's yeah. Uh, I used to think there were monkeys, but with closer inspection, These I just kind of didn't, wasn't really sure what they were. <laughs> It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Love so, your pigtails. Yeah, so these guys are wizards, wizards too. So I guess Cloud Temples in this level make a pair as well. Oh, this is the, uh, like, the, the day to day. Like, their infrastructure is down here, and then their, their, like, temples and spiritual life goes out of the tower, yeah. to see. 20 is a lot, but this level has 36 enemies. Oh, damn, Pretty so compact, so yeah, there's a fuck ton of it. <laughs> I love more enemies whose entire life is based around charging, but they suck at it compared to Spyro. Well, but you, you can't uh, charge your elephants. Because okay. they'll just flatten you like a bug. Finally, someone who's... who's better at you and stuff like that. Yeah, it would be pretty weird if you could charge a big elephant like that. <laughs> Yo, what, a, what elephant? I do what I want. So, like, you, you can see, like, the color palette is kind of weird. That's one yeah. thing about this level, and another thing about this level is that it has these weird objects all over that seemingly have no meaning, but they, they're kind of strange, and you think they do. So we'll get to that. <laughs> Definitely, they should, anyways. Yeah, this is a, a weird thing. It's, it's like they, they wanted to make it a. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Fucking elephant. It's like they, they tried to make it a marsh just by making it kind of a washed out greenish color palette without actually making much marshy stuff. Well, the, the marsh stuff is. is uh... It's to the edge, there's like a whole bunch of purple gooey okay. stuff, like over here. Yeah, it looks more like a, a C. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh well. But you do sink in it, and it's not just oh God. water. It's purple slushy. Finally, the purple slushy. <laughs> the much requested purple slushy. Oh, it's a donkey! Yeah, we'll see more of them later, but yeah, there's real-life ducks. That's one of those strange <laughs> objects I meant. And they're not like, you know, specially magical, you know... No, they're just Wolverine simple, ducks. Yeah, they're simple real ducks, not even duck men or women. Huh. Hi, ducks. You are adorable. And you can't 
interact with them, so it's just... Why are they here? That's so weird. One level designer should be a duck enthusiast. Like, if I have to guess if there was one level that the developers smoke some serious weed with, it would be this level. <laughs> oh, there's platypi! Those are like weird hybrid animals. Platypi that turn into, huh. like, those blowfish, so... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Sure. I think platypi would be a lot safer if they had that kind of benefit. Oh, that area looks marshy over there. Okay, that's so nice. We already have 20, so we could use the power up, which just springs you up to the top of the level anyway, so oh. we might as well go <laughs> the intended way. It's kind of bizarre. I suppose they don't like to get one run across the entire level to get back up if you fall down necessarily. Yeah, maybe. Nope. Gored you. Oh god. <laughs> well, I do I do like the noise they make. It's like it's like a, a sick ostrich. Yeah. Whoa. For some reason both the elephants and them have like snail shells, but they're like <laughs> rhinoceros and elephants. Yeah, that's pretty bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> and those and those those lemur things kinda remind me of like the cat from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, they have a Cheshire cat yeah. paint job totally and they are making fun of you. Yes, you are. <laughs> I need some frogs. I'm actually afraid of dying here because the I, I I have been getting hit a lot. <laughs> getting into the uh, the end of the game here and just friends getting all slapdash. Oh no! Well, <laughs> well spoilers, I don't die. No. So. Man, my suspense. Yeah. Well, you, you got a frog. You're good. Oh, oh you're double good. Yep. <sighs> Everyone, you can you can call the kids back into the room now. Everything's okay. I really want to know what that blue ball is on the, the right hand side. The it looks like ball? it should be something. Oh, that's the fountain. Yeah. Okay. That's off. Yeah. I'm glad it actually is something. Now we're here. <laughs> This is the real marshy part, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Purple slash marsh. I like how there's there's lots of clean water too. What? Oh, hmm. Well, the water is so there, so I have to hope Golly, so. Looks like I let the fountain switch off. <laughs> here, take this orb and um don't mention my little nap to Hydrar, okay? <laughs> Lazy wizards. So, in, in some wizard worlds, we're called upon to end wars, and some we have to save entire populations. In this one, a dude fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much the gist of it. And his name is Snoozle, so it's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh. He's another one of those strange things. Yeah, that was like it's totally designed for you to jump there and do something. I guess not, though. <laughs> Nope, jumping in it does absolutely nothing. And oh. yet another one, a cauldron. Huh. Yeah, somebody, I, th I think they must have had like more plan for this level and they cut it back or something. Well, there is a purpose for all of them. Oh. An actual, actual purpose. Oh. But the first time I played this, I absolutely could not figure it out what it was. <laughs> and it drove me nuts. Oh. Like, ev every single one of those objects, I spent so long trying to do everything possible with them to try and initiate something. But it just It's all couldn't. part of the complicated Spyro uh, alternate reality game. So, so much yeah. sweet goes for Spyro 3. When I played this first, this was the last orb I ever got, because <laughs> I just didn't know what the deal was. I noticed a thing, like, floating around the level up in the sky. I assume that's important at some point. Nah, well, it's, it's just the single balloon thing. Uh, you you kind of have to, like, use the spring to get to it, but you can just double jump. Oh, okay. Which we will do. <laughs> you have to spring to it if you're a scrub. 
Yep, pretty much. <laughs> There's a dude oh. there. Dude. Hello, friend. Do that's, you want dragon help? That's again one of the strange things. It's like an actual oh. human. Oh, yeah, so one of very like, few actual okay. humans. Yeah, we've, we've seen before that the actual humans are kind of evil, so... <laughs> how about this guy? Ah, Spyro, a friendly face. A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen the spark plugs, and I'm stuck here. Please get the four plugs back. I think that's the mayor from the Metropolis yeah, level. Yeah, it is. Reskinned. Oh, okay. This is useless without all four spark plugs, I'm afraid. <laughs> you got bigger problems the fact there's no roads and you're on a cliff, all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah! So the thieves are actually not those snail things you thought, but these fox things. And they're uh -huh. actually really annoying to get. Yeah, that looks obnoxious. Because they just loop around the level, and there's four of them, and it really takes forever. So here I'm like, hmm, isn't there something else I can do? Like ambush him? Or this? <laughs> like going out of bounds. Uh oh. Haha, they're swinging. Now what? Maybe we can't think, run like, from oh, me. Now I've air swimming. Now I'm the best at everything. But no, because <laughs> you're pretty much as fast as charging, and you can't flame them. So you've I've actually good myself. <laughs> it is way more awesome to be fair. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the main reason. <laughs> Still though, it really takes forever, so I start speeding up. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like it could be novel, but also a giant pain in the neck after the first, like, five minutes. Yeah. Well, not even five minutes, but yeah. Oh my god. This is an epic chase scene right here. There you go. It's the best feeling squeak in all of gaming. So now the fountain is on, as you can see. Yeah. How nice. I wonder what they used the fountain for. I don't know the Wallow Wizards, so I guess something. Yeah. Don't you run from us! So the the, the, the foxes can use the spring power-ups as well, and that's huh. how they get back up. But this one has kind of a trick, so if you just wait here... <laughs> it just loops around and you can get him then. Psych! I don't think any of the others do that, I think the others just wait at a certain spot. Oh, okay, the others just wait for you to try and get up to him again. Yeah. Okay. Kind oh. of rubber banding AI, maybe, but still. Yeah. And this one goes into water where we can chase them, because <laughs> that would break our air swimming. <laughs> what a jerk. But it doesn't really matter anyway, because when we get teleported back to the dude, we lose our air spinning. <laughs> I'm back in business. It did its job. Here, young dragon yeah. friend, take this. And be and uh, the final quest, uh, we can't. Well, if we if we have air swimming, we can't finish it. So, oh well. <laughs> At least we got to use air swimming for a valid purpose, even if it did kind of work against us. And this guy, look, he wants ivory from the elephants. Ah, oh, before yeah, they disappear, another kill evil them human. Yeah. So the fact that, like he's fully aware that the the elephants are disappearing. He's like, yeah, give him anyways. This is the last one, a pot. Mm. So now there's an orb tied to all this. If do you have any idea what? Not even the slightest. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So somehow I didn't figure out there was an area here you could go to. Okay. But you totally can, and then you find a <laughs> professor. Oh. I'm not sure how I missed this before, but hey. It's a little out of the way, to be fair. Ah, Spyro! So glad you're here. I'm perfectly useless without I'm perfectly useless. Period. I seem to have lost it. 
I do have this extra egg. Uh, perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. Oh. Do you gotcha. see it now? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. It's a literal Zelda trading quest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do I need that pencil back? Uh, would you like to start over? And a very long wait? one, I said. <laughs> right, I've got lots of um, it's it's very up. unique, and this kind of brings out the oddity of the levels too, but... So, like, why did they want to do a trading quest in Spyro again? Yeah. Though I guess I, I like it better in this game than I would in a lot of games, because at least the travel times between things is not real long. Yeah, that's, that's true. Like, you don't have to, like go from Lake Hillia within a timer all the way back to another place. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's a decent way to be like, go explore the level. For real. Though I honestly don't recall, or I can't imagine the sequence yet. I'm sure it'll become apparent. Well, the, the sequence, the first one is the egg. So, yeah. where have we seen that we could use an egg? Put it back in the duck. Oh, I wish. I <laughs> wish that would work. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, these these jerks, because like swimming, the hitbox with charging is kind of off. But hey, <laughs> we got all 36 enemies. All right, murder complete. But now to finish up the quests, and that will be the last thing. <laughs> uh, so close. There you go. So the egg goes into the nest, obviously. Mm -hmm. Put. Oh, and then the bird literally poops out oh. a little fruit. Uh, that's not a trade. You're just eating its poop. Yeah. Spiral, you're eating poop. And then the fruit goes in the bucket? Yeah, it's, all, it's a seed, actually. Yeah. So yeah, the seed goes into... He throws a plant and spits out a duck. <laughs> this is like a, a, like a cat hair mustache adventure game. Yeah. <laughs> well, it makes like a rubber ducky sound, so I guess it's rubber. But then, if it's rubber, why would you need to give it to the real bugs? Maybe it was cursed by a wizard and it's actually their child. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> I don't think it liked that. What? No. But hey, they're happy. Yeah, you know what? That's what matters. And then the duck spits out a radish. Okay. Um, where would we put the radish? I guess you go boil that radish? Yeah. Sure. I guess that's the least obvious one, but but, but by this point you only have yeah, very few options left, yeah. I really, really love like the face Spyro makes when he has something in his mouth. <laughs> look, look how spit this Spyro. Yeah. <laughs> that made the beginning of the video even more awkward. <laughs> Little baby face. And then, okay, and then... A pencil is in the cauldron? No? Nope. Okay. Something else still. A coin? What the fuck? Where do you put the coin? We give it to money bags. <laughs> I really have no idea. No idea? I think I've forgotten. Yeah, do cool stuff and get it stuck in there. Oh. oh Boom. Nice. <laughs> cool tricks, doing things the hard way. And then you wish for. You wish for a pencil, I guess. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Infallible logic, I'd say. Yep. There's your stupid pencil, pencil, you stupid. Now I can yeah. begin calculating it's way too big for you anyway. Universe again. Here, take this orb. Alora says she thinks I'm going to She'd lose. probably rewrite. Yeah. Well, you lose most things. Ah, uh, yeah, he has a little happy dance. Oh, <laughs> just like us. He, he just wanted his pencil back. Oh, mm, 
carry the six. Oh no, he's calculating the universe and he's <laughs> carrying a six. That's. You know what? It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> While we get there. Hi, Mystic Marsh. You're not especially marshy, but you were pretty cool. Do you see why I think it's odd? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. It's a very strange mishmash of weird magical things. And that guy is freaking Snoozle. me out. Snoozle! <laughs> Wake up, asshole. Don't, why <laughs> give him that job? Let somebody else do it. Oh. All oh. right, and oh. Mystic Marsh. <laughs> That's a happy ending, except for the elephants. Yeah. Except for the elephants. <laughs> That's pretty pretty usually true anyways, though. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone.